Good morning, my 25 gamers. In today's blitz of the day, we're going to be taking a look at a formation that I have been high on uh, this year, mainly because of last year, but uh, definitely, definitely found some good stuff out of this for you guys. Uh, nickel 335. We're going to start off today. Uh, and this week's splits of the day with the nickel 335 normal. This can be found in many playbooks. In this example, we're in the 43 defensive playbook. I believe it can also be found in Cincinnati's playbook and several other playbooks. You'll just have to look, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I am also pretty sure the cool part about the 335 is you can use it. Like um, There's 3-4 playbooks that have nickel 335, and there's also 4-3 playbooks that have 335. So it, it, it adds a flexible uh, – it's a very flexible formation. That's why I like it so much. So the blitz we're going to focus on today uh, is the – uh, the loop crash too, and uh, it's a pretty good setup, and I like it for a short yardage situation, stuff like that. I just uh, lapped it up for you guys here. So let's take a look at this. So um, all you got to do with this play is you just want to shift your linebackers to the right, and you're going to grab – actually, I don't even think you have to do that for the left edge. But uh, you're just going to move Claiborne down here off the left edge, and you're going to get left edge pressure. Now, I'm actually pretty sure you don't have to even – I don't think you even have to shift them. Because uh, the reason I was going to shift them was for the um, other side, if you want to send off the right, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. But uh, just slide Claiborne in here, and I'm pretty sure, yep, you're going to get left edge pressure. That's pretty sweet. So literally no setup, uh, and that's one of the beauties about the 3 through 5 is everything that is set up, it sets up so fast. And, and the formation just works very well uh, for being a 3 down lineman set. In my, in my eyes, it's one of the best 3 down lineman sets in Madden 25. Be sure to add this loop crash to uh, to your to your uh, defense. We're going to show you another way you can run this pressure tomorrow. And uh, guys, this uh, real quick. This is a five-man pressure. You're only sending five guys to the quarterback. But if they choose to block a running back, this is going to get picked up. So now we're going to show you. And in tomorrow's video, we're going to show you how to get pressure off of both edges. If you guys have, uh, you know, uh, some of you guys may be practicing. You have more time on Mondays to practice or whatever. Be sure to uh, see if you can figure out the the other side. See, you know, take the concepts I've been showing you guys over the last couple of months and apply them to the 3 through 5 and see if you can figure out, okay, how can I get right edge and left edge at the same time with this look as long and, and just see if you can figure it out. If you do figure it out, post it, post it in the uh, comments below. Tell me what you got. Um, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm trying to take your blisters or anything. I'm just saying, you know, I think it'd be cool to see if you guys can figure it out. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is definitely not the best blitz in nickel three through five, but it is a very effective pressure that we can use. Uh, that is just a really good, really good blitz, easy setup. So we can make adjustments on this, play really aggressive, uh, whatever we want to do. So just be sure to add this uh, to your playbook in Madden 25 for some quick pressure. And be sure to stay tuned later on in the week. We're going to be talking a lot about the nickel three through five over the course of the next couple weeks. Uh, it's, it's becoming a defense I'm really, really uh, excited about. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later in the Scheme of the Week breakdowns. What